Hello everyone, uh, in this tutorial, in this video, I am going to show you how can you make the AB3 uh, color sensor detect color and perform actions based on that color. So as you see now, uh, we have a maze with two colors. We can complete this with many different colors. But in, uh, in, this, in my case now, I'm going to start with two colors, the red and the black color. I want my robot to, the color sensor of my robot, my AV3 robot, to detect the red color. And when it detects the red color, it will wait for a few seconds and then it will perform action to say the name of this color and then it will turn to the left side so it can detect the other color which is black color. Let's see how can we make this work. Uh, the first thing we have to make sure that our uh, robot is connecting to my AV3 Classroom software and I can see here that we uh, we can see the ports which motors are connected with uh, motor B and C uh, and we have here the medium motor the color sensor is connecting to uh, port number 3 okay the first thing I have to set the movement to uh, motor B and C because uh, they are controlling the wheels so I'm gonna go to the movement block and there I'm gonna go all the way down to find the uh, set movement to B and C this will control the left motor and this one will control the light right motor uh, so now I have to make my robot to continue moving straight so we will go and find uh, the uh, move straight for uh, start moving straight which is forward and for the power I, I recommend, I highly recommend to make the power less than 50, let's pick 30 or 20%. Uh, percent. The reason I can give the color sensor um, time to read and detect the color okay so if the robot is moving fast uh, it will it will be hard for the uh, color sensor to detect the color so now we will start moving straight with power 30 and now i'm gonna say when the color sensor so i have to go to the sensors block so when the color sensor wait until color is red which is the first color until the color is red the action, Taban, we have to make sure that if you look at here, we have the color sensor is connecting to port 3. I have to make sure that it is on port 3. Okay? So when the color is red, what action you want the robot to do? The first one, you want it to wait. I want it to wait for a half a second. And then it will say the name of this color so i have to go to the sound block so it has to say sound play sound okay let's make this before the wait so it can say the name and then we'll wait for half a second so we'll go to color red so play sound color red until done and then wait for half second and then the next action is to turn to the left side so we will go back to movement and we have many ways to make the robot turn to the left side but i'm gonna use uh, the move tank block which is uh, which is this one so we can control we can get two different powers uh, start moving yes this one Okay, so we can we have here two different powers. This power will control motor B, and this power will control uh, motor C. Okay, so uh, if I wanted to turn, one of the powers have to be negative, has to be negative, while the other one uh, should be neg uh, positive. So if I wanted to turn to the uh, left side, then I expect the right motor. Okay, which is motor C will be positive because it will move forward while the other side will be negative to go backward. So uh, the motor B has to be negative and let's lower the speed to 20 and the same thing here will be 20 but positive. We lower the speed to the other motor but with positive value. 
when we give two different powers, uh, one negative and one positive, we will have two different actions then uh, the robot uh, will turn. Okay, let's test this one first. Okay, so the robot now performed, detected the red color, set the name of the color, and then performed 180 degrees. And the reason because we have we put here one rotation. So let's put half rotations. Let's make it 0.5. We will change the rotation, and we will go back and let's test it again. This is perfect. I think now the robot performed 90 degree uh, turns uh, with half rotation and with the uh, 20 speed powered for the motors. Okay, now the next action I want my robot to continue moving. After turning, it will continue moving to detect the second color. So I will repeat this code. We will start moving straight. So we will copy, take the start moving straight with power 30 and as I told you we lower the power because we wanted to make sure that my robot can uh, see or can read the color and then when the color is uh, uh, we will go to the sensors when color is black you want it to say the name of the color it has to say the name of the color so we will go to the sound block and we will play a sound uh, the black one okay and it will wait for half a second okay and then now when it detects the black color I want it to turn to the right side so to turn to the right side to make the robot turn to the right side so we expect the right motor to have a negative value to go backward while the left one will have a positive value to move forward okay so it will uh, turn to the right side so we can test that one so we will move forward go back to the movement and then we will move for half rotation and power 20 negative okay so this one will have like uh, the right one will go backward and it's thank you for watching